It's Victor King of the Morons. On, I'm on a dangerously tiny road, so I'm gonna put this back up so you can see the road ahead of us. There we go. I had another uh, suction cup Smotry thing, but they don't make it anymore. So I gave my other one away to Kat McDowell because I'm such a nice guy. No, because she was it. She got a new uh, GoPro and she was car vlogging, but she didn't have a proper suction cup uh, stand. And uh, I don't quite like this one because I can't turn it around like the other one. I can just flip it around quickly. This one's much more difficult, so you'll have to just imagine my face instead of uh, looking at it. But anyway, today is, is May 23rd. It's a Saturday morning. I'm off to work. I sometimes work on the weekends. Uh, erratic schedule on the weekends. And Kaz is back in town. Kaz is from Japan. A little news for you. A little J-blogging news for you. Uh, it was also Big Dean's birthday for those of you who knows the three, uh, what are those three old dudes? I think they're three old dudes, yeah. Anyway, a little news for you there. And uh, I'm doing a request uh, response for one of my Patreon viewers who asked me this question about a week ago. And they sent me an article which I will link in the description. It's a very short article. It's about Americans who are are renouncing their citizenship. Now, I did not know this, but apparently 7.6 million Americans live abroad. And uh, let's see, the amount of Americans renouncing their citizenship has jumped like 15 times since 2008 or something. It's just amazing. And this year alone, already 1,335, and this is a week ago or so, probably more by now, 1,335 people have renounced their citizenship uh, so far this year. And so the, what, what, that, what, the, what that means is that we're on, we're on pace to break the record. <laughs> so this year, apparently, if, if, we, if we continue at this rate, it will be, this will, this will uh, be our biggest year, meaning not, not our biggest year, but this will, this will be the year that the most people renounce their citizenship. Now, you might remember a few years ago, a big, uh, one of the big wigs from, I think it was Facebook, some billionaire, millionaire, renounced his citizenship and went to Singapore. And apparently it was because of taxes. That's what everyone says. And the, uh, the thing I don't get about this is that the article states that you cannot do this because of taxes. It's illegal. So I don't know how, you know, that's strange. Maybe what that means is if you say, oh, I don't want to pay the taxes anymore, so I want to, I'm going to renounce my citizenship, that they'll say, no, that's not a good reason. Uh, I don't know what kind of reason you would give. Like, I don't like the chips here. The, the fries are no good. <laughs> I'm sick of the cola wars. I don't know what, what kind of reason you would give uh, that would satisfy the government, but... Maybe you just want to, I, I, I would think the best reason would be that you're just moving to another country and you're going to live there now and you no longer you know, see, see the reason to be an American citizen, you want to be a citizen of another country. Uh, because I think, uh, yeah, you cannot be the citizen of another, this is, this is the weird thing. Technically, you cannot be the citizen, citizen of another country uh, at the same time, unless, unless you're from a certain country that allows that or you're a certain sex. Let me explain that, okay? This is kind of some weird shit. And for those of you who are not Americans, because I know a lot of you are not, look at the people playing baseball over there. Can you see them down there? The people who are not Americans, let me, let me, I love, I love seeing this. See the people over there playing baseball? No, 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 we're playing baseball. We're just kids having fun. So you remember those days playing baseball? There we go. And see the, see the homeless people on their farms, which I think, I'm pretty sure that's illegal too. But uh, you're not supposed to build huts. I did an interview with some, a man who lives there. I don't know if he was homeless, but you can go find that video. If you're interested, let, let me know. I'll link it to you in the comments. But let's get back to this. Let me give an example about citizenship and the way it works. Every country is different. And one funny thing about Americans is that we, we, we are very limited by our own experiences. And we expect the world functions the way America does. So, for example, let me explain that. If you are born in America, regardless of what your nationality of, the, of your parents was, you are automatically an American citizen. Dun, 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 dun. Welcome to America. You are now an American citizen. Now, that is not the way most countries work, apparently. But a lot of Americans see that in other countries and think, oh, how un-American. 
you, you get what I'm saying here? For example, in Japan, if you are born in Japan, you are not Japanese automatically. One of your parents has to be Japanese. And there have been quite a few well-documented cases of Filipinos or hostess women. I guess that's not really relevant. Their job is not relevant. Let's just say let's, there have been instances of people being born in Japan in which the father was not specifically known, but it was pretty obvious he was Japanese. Okay? And the kids are stuck in limbo, like they're not allowed out of Japanese citizenship and you've, they've had to go to court. I think actually some white people <laughs> helped out in a case like that recently. Well, a couple, not recently, I think it was like more like 10 years ago now, but historically speaking, recently. I believe there are Canadian couples, you know, they're so nice Canadians. That's what we all hate them, hate them because they're so nice. Uh, they apparently helped this, this, uh, this kid who had no parents. I think the mother left him too. That's what it was, maybe. Anyway, the, the court recognized that the father was uh, Japanese and gave him citizenship, but it took, a, it took a while. Anyway, that's what's happening there. Uh, now in Peru, I'll give you an example of something I do know of. In Peru, if you are a woman, you can have your citizenship, you will keep your citizenship forever, regardless of where you live and what other citizens, uh, what other uh, countries you become a citizen of, <laughs> regardless of that. Because this is to protect the woman. So in case, for example, a evil white man, the evil white devil marries a poor Peruvian unsuspecting woman and takes him, takes her back to his country and then abuses her and she decides she wants to get a divorce. Get a divorce. In cases like that, the government, the, the Peruvian government will welcome her back with open arms and she is once again a Peruvian citizenship and has all the rights that a normal Peruvian has. Which means to steal your hubcaps. Okay, just kidding, Peruvians. We know we're not all thieves. Okay. Anywho, uh, yeah, that's um, that's the way it works in some countries. Now, you've 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 all heard about documented cases in the states of like, for example, Korean mothers coming over pregnant, and they've actually been like, uh, they actually promote this, right? Hey, if you're pregnant, come on over to America, have your kid in America. And of course, in Mex Mexicans too, and these are called anchor babies. So such a thing, such a concept does not really exist in Japan. Though, I'm pretty sure it's easier to get citizenship if you're a mother. Oh, look at that. This is really, I gotta show you this over here. This is really cool. You don't see a lot of this. You guys see that? People are rowing out there. It's good. It's, yeah. uh, what is that called, crew? Look at that. I, mean, I haven't seen a team that big in a while though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that nine? Can't, can't count and drive at the same time. But anyway, little little scenery for you. Whoops. Okay, back to the back to the road. Eyes on the road. Eyes forward, soldier. Uh, yeah. You would think peripheral vision would be more important than forward. <laughs> I can see what's ahead of me, but if I'm a soldier, I wanna I wanna make sure what's on the side of me, creeping up on me. Anywho, so that's what that's the way it works there. Now let's go back to this issue, the question that someone asked me. I think. The question was whether I ever considered it, and my answer would be simply no. I have no interest in renouncing my American uh, citizenship. But at the same time, I kind of think all of that, of course it's a man-made construct citizenship. You happen to be born in a certain country, so you're automatically a citizen of that country. That seems all kind of silly. Uh, it's just luck most of the time. But, um, and, that's, and that's another reason I don't understand, like, patriotism a little bit because how can you be proud of a country you just were lucky to be born into you can be happy and grateful that you were born in that country you're lucky just like winning the lottery you're gonna be lucky but you can't you can't be proud of winning the lottery and that's how, that's what I think of when I think of citizenship or being born or even as in my case immigrating to a country my parents were lucky enough to to get in but my dad was uh, you know top level mortician so he got, uh, they, they accepted him with open arms. You know, they need more morticians here in in, uh, in, uh, in America. Or in America. Not here in America, I'm in Japan, but... Yes, so I was lucky that my dad you know, was so fascinated with dead people that he became one of the top morticians in Peru and he was able to find a job as a superior mortician in America. Yes. Anyway, anywho, <laughs> let's go on. Uh, why?
why will why would you renounce uh, your citizenship other than money I think this is a general rule and I actually even tell my students this my younger students who are who don't know this from this general rule the reason for most things in the world that happen is money so when you think about wars why, why are wars happening the, the not, not always but the one of the biggest reasons, of course, is money they want. There's something to be gained that way. Uh, yes, so that's one, one reason. Of course, when you're young, the, the biggest reason is your genitalia, because they rule everything. Uh, I saw a very funny skit the other day of a guy who who, uh, who plays himself, and it's called I thought it's called Man vs. Dick, and it's about him. His dick is giving him all this bad advice, and he's listening to it. And, making all these mistakes and, and every time he talks to his dick there's two guys standing next to his dick who are dressed as testicles and they're wearing these big puffy um, head head dresses head suits I don't know what they're called but they, they look like fluffy testicles <laughs> and then they're brown but the dick is always just dressed in like uh, as a maintenance man or something or a janitor <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so when you're young, you're dick and you're... Uh, well, not, let's not say that. Let's say love. You know, I, I, I would say love is the reason that we do things when we're younger. Isn't it? Isn't it, isn't it, isn't it make us crazy? You know, when we're younger, we're completely controlled by love. As we get older, that, that seems to let go for most of us. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but let me know about that. I'm kind of interested in your experiences, especially if you're older. Do you find that now that you're older, love has less of an influence? On your life is that true too, for you as well uh, I think now that I'm older responsibility a sense of duty and responsibility is more relevant to me than my genitalia <laughs> and my emotions uh, let's review 7.6 million Americans live abroad uh, this year alone 1,335 1,335 people have already announced their American citizenship and which makes this it's going to be a record year. This will be the most. Uh, the amount of people renouncing their citizenship have gone up like I think 15 times in 2008. It's amazing. It's amazing. So it's it's quite popular. Uh, my question for you guys is: Would you ever renounce your citizenship of your country? If I'm especially interested in those who would not. Why does your citizenship matter that much to you? Or do you think uh, citizenship citizenship is mostly a social construct? Let me know. We think. Thanks for the question. Uh, but yeah, was, this is a question to, to my uh, patron. Uh, those people on Patreon, of course, I have to, I have to, um, no, no, you know, I don't have to, but I, I will definitely pay attention to you <laughs> if you leave me a question on there and make a video. A lot of people ask me to make videos about various uh, topics. I cannot, you know, of course, cover every single, single topic, uh, but I do try. And as you guys know, I'm really busy these days with the kid. But thanks for watching, and I appreciate it. And please leave your thumbs up. It's not that hard. It does help the video. And it's, you know, it doesn't cost you anything. So take it out. Take it out of your pants. No, take it out of your hand and thumb it up. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. 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 Bye.